Oh, that was Zach's voice. That's not actually what happened, though. He's in fate's hands now. That's not how he died. That's not right. What is it? I remember what happened here. And to Zach. Oh my god. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Zombo here and today we're back with another Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth episode. In the last one, we were going through parts of Nibelheim. We went through the whole open world already, so now all we have is just main story stuff. So we're just gonna zoom through this. Well, we're, okay, we're gonna take our time, but we're, we're gonna just be going just main story. I'm very excited for this. I'm really hoping some good stuff happens here because I see a lot of potential for some cool stuff here, which is getting me very, very, very excited. And it's it's Cloud Tifa stuff, so you know I'm pretty pumped for it. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. All right, everybody, here we are. I guess I never tried. Like, I just assumed I couldn't. I don't know that I really... Yeah, okay. I, I, I was wondering if I could run to the mansion. I know we can't get in there. That's the whole point of us going up the mountain is to get access to the mansion, but uh, whatever. The or what? Yeah, I love that it's my squad. I love it so much. Yes, let's do this. New bridge just went in, you know? Might shave oh. some time off the trip. Sounds okay. Sounds like a plan to me. All right, reactor word ho! Okay. <laughs> so she's going to run ahead like our, like our little... I, I don't want to call her a pet, but I, it's making me think of a dog that walks in front of the owners. But <laughs> we're going to be talking in the back. Right, what's going on now? Sir, we've received word about the Nibelheim survey team. It appears they were ambushed. Okay, the guy we're supposed to meet? By Wu Tai. <laughs> is that an answer? Indeed. And so. Okay, Wu Tai is here. Oh, that's why Yuffie's with us then. That's why. That's the unverbal reason the game devs did that. <laughs> Hurry Got it. Already. Got the new bridge I see up ahead? Uh, I don't know. Do we? Okay, we just got here. Okay, I'm like, what? What's going on? Am I able to go this way? This should be the, the mansion, and I kind of want to walk over there. Um, there is something. So, so between you know this recording session and what I did last time, I was able to edit the the Zach and Biggs episode. And as you guys know, in that episode, I was providing theories for things and, and what I think was going on. I was able to further refine my theories based on what I thought about and just, okay, I didn't think so. Just want to make sure um, about that. And let me, let me try to give you like the, the crash course on what my theory is, because it's quite elaborate and I'm going to try not to get completely into it because uh, that, that will take a little bit, but ba basically how I'm perceiving this as happening is just just for visual appeal. This is the OG timeline, right? This is this is beginning of Crisis Core to the end of the OG game. What, what, however, whatever happens in that timeline there, that's basically what's going on there. Now, when we usurp Destiny at the end of the remake, you know, we had we had a new branch, right? A new branch of the timeline. So if, if Destiny happened at my wrist, that's when we defeated Destiny. That's where we branched and made the timeline we're in currently. And OG would just keep running past, you know, as anybody who played the OG knows. I, I don't know, you guys know. <laughs> um, however, I think, you know, I think it's still kind of close to the original. It's not like, it's not like branching off sideways. I think it's kind of just deviating a little bit. Again, you guys who know the OG would be able to answer this, don't answer it for me. Just think about it yourselves. Um, I, I would imagine that this game isn't like, miles different from the original it's not like whoa this is what the hell I, I would say it's just like deviating where there's there are still differences that are maybe substantial but not like drastic not like i don't know zach and biggs are alive <laughs> type thing and now speaking of zach and biggs i think zach and biggs are another branch timeline that came off from that so they went that way they i think are a little bit more sideways not like completely sideways but a little more sideways and the, the fact that they were in in the in the scenes that we saw and they were explaining how they got to where they were. Zach said, I, I was just facing Shinra troops. And then all of a sudden I was I was here you know, or I'm sorry. All of a sudden the Shinra troops were gone. Like they, they weren't there. One minute they were next minute they weren't. The wind blew and they were they weren't there anymore. And how, what I think that happened is, you know, where Zach was supposed to die in Crisis Core, he was basically plucked out. He was pulled out and plopped into the side 
side uh, timeline this way. He was just plopped into that. Since he was plopped out of the time when Shinra troops were there and plopped into where Destiny was defeated, you know, he time jumped basically, essentially. And so now with, with Biggs, for example, you know, when he was supposed to die at the tower, he got plucked out and plopped into that timeline and he plopped into the orphanage area. And he was, he woke up there like, whoa, how did I get saved? There's no way anybody saved him out of that tower thing. So I think the theory that I have is they were just plucked out of the original timeline. They were plucked out before they died and plopped into uh, that timeline is, is my running theory. The cloud's kind of the weird one there because what cloud is that? Because Cloud should have came back with the other people, but he didn't. And am I? Oh, I can call a chocobo here. Oh, how is this an open world? Cause like I can like, that's weird. Oh, but anyways, Cl Cloud's kind of the weird thing because he was the one who is kind of in both places. He was in both instances. And so he should have been with, with Aerith, Tifa, Barrett, all those guys, but he also got teleported away at the end of the remake. You know, where... Is that Yuffie over there? What? Is that... No, that's Tifa over there. Tifa's... I'm gonna get off this. Tifa, what are you doing over there? She is eager. But but Cloud's the one who shouldn't have been there. But at the end of the remake, you know, he teleported into space and time with Sephiroth. And he's like, seven seconds. And maybe in that seven seconds, he did something. And he influenced this a little bit. I don't know. Or maybe it's just since he teleported away on that Destiny thing, he teleported back at a different location, which was where Zack was teleported to as well. I don't know. That, that's a little bit of an odd point, but I just want to throw that theory out there quickly in a in a somewhat digestible form, because <laughs> I thought about it a lot. So like I could talk about it for a while, but I'll just leave it at that for now. That that's kind of my my running theory is that there's maybe three timelines. The the other option that I thought about in regards to that was that maybe maybe Biggs and Zack are in this timeline, but the reason why that doesn't seem super viable is because. You know, Aerith and Cloud would be duplicated. If they're in this timeline and they're just back in Midgar right now, and that's where they are, it doesn't make sense because Cloud and Aerith would be duplicated. There'd be two of them in the same timeline, which is would be mind-boggling. Not saying it's impossible. Who knows? what? There's also timelines, so who freaking knows? But um, it doesn't seem as likely to me. As, as the, it just seems too, like, perfect, in my opinion, the other theory that I had, that it's just gotta be, it's gotta be right. I'd love to be proven wrong, but we'll, we'll see what happens. It, it's cool and like, I think I know what's happening and then they turn it on their head. Turn, or I guess turn me on my head. I don't know how you look at it. Um, is this the bridge? What's, what's the, Tifo's like running off that way. I don't know why she wanted to go that way so bad, but wh what am I, where, where? Okay, so I'm going up there. So this is just kind of nothingness. I don't know what the point of, is that a, I see a blue structure over here. I don't know what the point of this area is because we went through the open world already. Like there's there's nothing to be obtained. I did everything but proto relic stuff. So I almost know the proto relic thing over here, but like I I don't know what we're gonna choke about. <laughs> I don't know what we're choke about. I, I don't know what we're doing here. Like why is this why is this split off? This oh wait, this is the last chocobo thing that I need. Now that I think about it, I needed one more thing and I thought I missed one. But I didn't miss one. I am good. I am good at the game. I was so disappointed in my story. I'm like, man, I really thought I explored everywhere in previous areas. I was very diligent about it. Okay, that's the last one. Is there a trophy? No? Okay, I guess. But I can get that last piece of armor now, so that's pretty cool. I, I'm not worried about it right now, but that's pretty neat. Another thing that I was theorizing between sessions here of recording was... uh. Why, why the robed figures are here? Like, why Nibelheim? Why is this the location? And I believe that Sephiroth said in chapter one that this was the reactor that was for research and development or something. Hojo, essentially. And and obviously Genova research, as, as we know. Um, so what that makes me wonder is, is Hojo doing experiments on them? Is, is Roach here? Is, is that scene we saw with Roach? Is that, was that here? And it was part of the reactor. It didn't look, it, it, the, the facility that Hojo was in looked a little nice. And I don't, unless they revamped the reactor, I don't know, but it, it seemed a little nice. So I don't know that for sure, but 
Hojo is the one who would be using this reactor, so if anybody's here, it's him. And it it's kind of topical that he has interest in the hooded figures, the, the robed figures, and they're all here at his reactor thing. All right, so this is the ejector. What's up? You gonna commentate? Gun Groth Bridge? What are you doing? You're just making noises. Um, okay, no commentary. Is, are we getting any commentary on our walk there? I mean, I guess we haven't gone that far, but... This is like, I don't... This is like completely different to me. I don't know any... Ooh, weapon. Ooh, who's is this? It could be any of us. All of us need more weapons. Crystal gloves. Ooh. What are... That matches Crystal Sword for Cloud. Oh my gosh, you guys have cute little combo wombo weapons where you guys you guys pair up. Crystal Glove 6. Look at those. Not exactly my color scheme, but for those of you liking cool colors like that, you go for it. Unfettered Fur Fury. I don't I don't think I recognize that one. Imbued your brittle attacks and with non-elemental magic increases stagger. What? I already love the unbridled attacks. You're making them stronger? So I wonder I wonder if this does it's like physical versus magical damage. If I use this now it's magical damage. So maybe I have to play the ability off of the weakness of the enemy. My my hope would be that it's just additive damage. Like that's for if I do that, I do the sonic boom and I do the electrical surge thing. Like dude, she's She's broken, man. That's crazy. It's very magic based. So this isn't a very good weapon for her for my build. Like that is very bad. <laughs> it goes down 105 right now, but maybe I can up it with some of these things. I can. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's, that at least makes it better. <laughs> it doesn't salvage it, but that's cool. All right, so we'll, we'll run with that for now. I, uh, I don't really want to keep those too long on me, but um, that it's cool for now. Was this anything here? Like, what, what is this thing? It, what, is, what is this? You need the Deputy Commissioner Mirazaki's ID card. I thought that's... Where am I? Okay, so this is like an actual area, but where am I in the region? So I am at where I thought the reactor is. So, is this the reactor? Like, I don't see the big reactor pillar thing anywhere here. Like, this doesn't exactly feel like the reactor. Hmm. I don't know. It's pretty, though. What's going on? What are we looking at? Okay. Sephiroth. Okay, so these are your f fake memories. Oh, that was Zack's voice. But that's actually, that's actually you. That's not actually what happened, though. He's in fate's hands now. That's not how he died. That's not right. What is it? I remember what happened here. And to Zack. Oh, my God. Oh. But you, you should know Zack, Tifa. Right? The bridge broke. He fell, got swept away by the current. I think he's... dead. That's, that's not true. You never forgot, did you? That's why you've been acting weird. Oh, God. Didn't want to upset you. That's all. Oh, the conference there. What, what are you, how are you going to take Zach that, Cloud? Friend. How could I just forget him like that? Degradation. It's hollowing me out. Oh. Bit by bit. Man, dude. You're wrong. You remembered, Cloud. That's true. It'll you be did. Okay. It will. I know it. She is very helpful. Thanks. I, I don't know how he took that. She deserves to know what happened. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's she not does. true. But let me be the one to do it. Why? Because she and I are close, you know? <laughs> yeah, and you guys aren't supposed are to be. You two done yet? Yep. <laughs> be right there. Let's just keep this between the two of us. Promise? Yeah, I'll forget anyways. <laughs> uh, it'll degrade out of me anyways. Um, yeah, okay, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, sh I wonder how that is if, like... I, I wonder if Cloud's the one to tell if I was on an Earth path. Again, don't answer that, but I, I am curious. I I'll have to see on my next uh, playthrough of this. So, which way... So to our reactor. Okay, to the reactor. So I'm gonna go down here then. Oh, I remember. I remember climbing up this. I remember this with Sephiroth and and Cloud. We we. I remember playing a Sephiroth when I got to the top of that. Damn. Okay. So yeah, I remember this area, which I mean makes sense. It's the river we talked about. All that for a chest, really? There's nothing else down here. No commentary. All right, climbing back up then. All right. So let's keep fighting here. Got no so we got some insectoids. Oh, I, I need to try my new ability, actually. Wait, where is that? Where is it? Unfluttered. So, imbued your... Uh, increase the stagger. Wait, wait. Oh my gosh. Was that... So, that, like, helps me when they're pressured, too. Interesting. So, so But it's it's only my... It's only my unbridled strength, though? But I, I guess if I have one stack of it, it helps me. Dying here. Let's not waste any time. Mako this thick is dangerous. Oh god, I'm scared for Cloud. Whenever, wh when we were at the reactor, it was Maka was thick there too, wasn't it? And that didn't turn out well. Tifa got yeeted. <laughs> but no, I'm remembering this area. I remember this very well. I got a material over here, actually. I think that's where I got the, uh, the one that increases your, it's like faith and, uh, whatever the strength one is. <laughs> I, I forget now what it's called, but. Um, yeah, that's where I got that. Ow, ow. Do you guys stop sunning? No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I feel like Yuffie's going to really third wheel this. But if Wutai is here, that's when she's going to come into play. No need to screech, man. No. Why do you keep grabbing me? Grab somebody. Yuffie was right there. Grab the Yuffie. What's wrong with you? I didn't get to activate the ability. Bummer. Oh, well. Oh, well. So are we going to see that same? Yeah, there it is. It's right down there. That's the thing. Oh, there's a purple materia, too. Hopefully that's an, some kind of up. That is an HP or MP because I got enough of those. But hopefully that's an uppy up. Uppity up, up, up. Okay. Is there, okay, there's got to be commentary here. So I remember... It's so like, I don't, I don't know if, like... I guess maybe I'm supposed to assume because... You know, we just saw the cutscene with Cloud, Sephiroth, and, and, and I just shouldn't say Jest, and Tifa in this area in the past. And I was wondering if that would just be Zack, but I don't, I don't think that makes sense, because how would Cloud remember that? Or, or maybe he just, Amaka I don't spring. know. Okay, here we go. Yep, that's what I'm thinking of. Wait, so this whole thing is materia? Yeah, pretty much. Wow, it's so much bigger. Than last time? I can't remember how big it was last time. I guess it looked familiar to me. Like the same, I mean. Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. Is he is that the same thing Sephiroth said? For the Mako energy to condense into something like it this. It is. It must have taken an eternity. Yes, it is exactly what he said. A little bit of double voice there throughout that hey, whole thing. We should get out of here. Oh. All this Mako is making me queasy. Yeah, me too. Oh, God, Tifa is saving the day there. We we know what she just did there. Cloud is like, oh, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> she saw that. Smart. Obtain. Whoa, what? How does this function? I'm just gonna set it on Tifa, for example. Like what? That that doesn't. Am I gonna have 66 HP? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, that's a, a massive amount of MP, but why? 
I mean, maybe in the hard mode, you, you don't have to worry about MP. You can just have someone set as a healer just constantly healing you. They're so squishy, though. You'd have to be able to... I feel like Aerith's the only one who could operate with that. Because she, she would have the highest MP pool. That, that's the only thing I can think of that would benefit from that. That's crazy. That's cool. I like that. I like that. That that provides you an opportunity to do a pretty interesting playstyle. It'd be interesting you got more of them. Okay, so my finisher on it does do a magical attack. And it does feel like it does more. So this, like... Look at that pressure go way up! And then she just go right into doing increased stagger percentage? Oh my gosh! She was already amazing against staggered enemies, and now you're making it so much easier to obtain staggered enemies? Or get staggered enemies, I should say. Get them staggered. What is this? I see something on the map, but I don't... I don't know how to access that. What the hell is that? Oh. Okay. Whoa. This is the most abstract area I've ever had. There's nothing up here, but... It's... I've never been able to, like, climb something like that. Or... Maybe I just never noticed. I don't know, but that's weird. That's cool, but it's weird. Um, okay. Yeah, so this is all very familiar to me. Very familiar. Taking us down memory lane, which is good because we're getting more flashbacks and maybe we'll get some more correct memories for Cloud. I should say some more, but the Zack one wasn't exactly correct, was it? But it was different than we saw before. Little, bu little, little buggy boys. Uh, and let's get this, because I really want to get rid of these weapons. <laughs> nice. Oh my gosh! She did a one, and look, it left the thing behind! Whoa! Are you serious right now? Was that because I was, uh, because every, every stack of Umbridled she has in extends her combo duration, her combo count, I guess? So she has more combo to her combo <laughs> and uh that must be why that happened very cool are you sure we're going the right way pretty damn sure we're almost yeah. there once we get past this part then and we that we trail our words off is what happens then we're at the reactor yep i remember this is where i'm like this game's freaking beautiful like i had a little moment there and taking me down memory lane there's a materia come on Let's find another route. Oh. No need to worry. I've already found one. What? <sighs> oh. More climbing, but hey. Okay. Shit, I'm cool with that. There was a materia down there last time. That was a magnifying materia, I think, if I remember correctly from the <laughs> from chapter one, but. Um, I, I, I would love another magnify. We only have one currently. Wouldn't mind it. Okay. Come on, friends. Hurry it up. We've got all day. What do you think? We're made of time. There's Wu Tides about, apparently. Oh, here's a, here's a zoo. Oh, interesting. I think I'm all warmed up. Hmm. Okay, so I noticed in that last fight that uh, her Omni Strike changes to Omni Flurry when that happens. It still seemed like a good ability. I don't know that it upped the stagger as much. I'm not sure. All right, so we are ready to keep heading up the mountain now. Let's do it. So this is kind of a different-ish area now. We were not exactly here before. Whoa, that is, oh my gosh, that's a lot of climbing. Another weapon there, that's good. Everyone here needs weapons. This one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Cloud. <laughs> But I also wouldn't be surprised if that was something that comes later. It's on you. Okay, I gotta switch. Stop switching characters like that. Uh, I want to try this one though. So this is gonna really help the stagger. Okay, well, we killed them too fast. <laughs> I am on dynamic still, just so, just to keep everybody in the loop. I am on dynamic. I'm trying to see like, okay, so I can climb up this way. I don't know exactly where this. Oh, the chest here? Ah, so this would be like in lieu of climbing. Like emerald? I'm almost capped on some of that stuff. 
so it's just another way to get up here and onwards okay oh there's a lot of like like look at all these little areas and little nooks everywhere and then there's more climbing here you know oh. i can't say i've ever taken this route before oh you gonna be okay yuffie oh yeah no problem this is nothing compared to what we got in Wutai. Really? Is it mountainous? A massive sculpture of Dachau carved into the face of this one cliff. All huh. us ninjas have to scale it. Part of our training. Never liked the climb much, but I freaking loved the reward. Which was? Materia? Dachau beans, of course. Oh. Got to eat up when we made it to the top. Ah, tell you what, I'll give you some when we finish our climb. <laughs> That's kind, but <laughs> I really don't have to. Really? You don't want any Tifa? Okay, I'm gonna go down. Uh, I won't. I won't make you guys watch this, but I'm gonna go down because. Um, okay, wait. I gotta go up to get down. Get up. Get up to get down. That's another joke I made when I was here in chapter one. <laughs> um, all right, let's. I'll. I'll see you guys in a sec when we get to the weapons thing. All right, so we finally made it to the chest. Quite. Quite the trek to climb down. Oh damn! Look at that. It is Cloud's weapon. That looks. That looked crazy from the image. It's like it looked curved almost. Ignis Saber. Oh, that looks cool. A curved greatsword forged from hardened volcanic magma. It has blade burst. That's a new one. Unleash a wave of non elemental Mako energy at an enemy in front of you with a slashier sword. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Let's freaking go, man. Wow, that's actually my next, my new strongest sword, actually, in terms of physical damage. It's, it's finally better than the Sleek Saber, so this, we'll actually be running this one for a little while here. Okay, I like that. Maybe we did ha maybe we did have this one in the last game, actually. Now that I think about it, it sounds familiar. But but I don't remember it being a fan shape like that. I think it was just like a line in front of you or something. But that name's now sounding familiar. I think that was on... Like the Mithril Saber, I think, in the last game. I'm not sure now. Oh well. I'm gonna say it probably was, but maybe it's modified. All right, let's go. I'm gonna get back to the top now. I will see you guys in a second. All right, and we made it back up to the top, which is freaking awesome. And now we're going places, question mark? Wait, I see a material over here. What is this? I saw the blue lights. What is this one? Blue are, blue are annoying to level up though. A warning material? I don't really want more warning material, but okay. It's another one for me to try to level up now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. I, I, I have... I've been making it a point to level up every single material we get. I've been doing pretty damn good. It's it's really the blue ones and some purple ones that I don't have leveled up yet. Oh, that reminds me. I maxed out Comet. I maxed out Comets between uh, recording sessions here. So uh, I could actually try the uh, Com Comet Meteor. I haven't tried it. I wanted to try it with you guys, so I'll make sure to try that in the next fight. I have a feeling it's probably going to take... Ooh. That's pretty sick. Uh, I, I think it's going to probably take two ATB. And that's what I noticed. I never, I could never figure out why I can't, I don't think I can look at it outside of battle, but I never figured out why it wouldn't let me uh, use fire gun and stuff. It's because it took two ATB, which is really weird. It's weird that it makes you use two ATB now. All right, there we go. I just wanted to get max. I was just a little scared of this guy. This guy this probably isn't a boss though. Oh. Just called Dragon. Let's do this. Interesting. All right, let's get a. Okay, well, we got the blade. That's right. We do have to probably play as Cloud now. Um, but I want to first and foremost assess this guy. Too bad. Figure out what he's all about. Weakness to ice. That so makes sense. I mean, just don't inflict enough damage. Will cause us to roar then pressure afterwards. Okay. Cool. And that, I think that unlocks another fight uh, in the in Chadley's simulator. So it's free. Hi Damn, pretty cool. I don't know if that did like too much damage. Okay. I actually should go Tifa on this one then. Uh and do this. Oh, damn. Rage and fall. Wait, let's try this. Rage and fall. Okay. It doesn't feel like it's the stagger meter goes up as high when that's activated though. Now we're back to Omni Strike. So I, I do think Omni Strike is still stronger than 
like the abilities when you have the other thing, but it but it is nice having that extra stagger for sure. Abilities. Why don't you do that? Why don't you do that? You ready? Why don't you do another one of those? Okay, I'm gonna get my I'm brittled up. Why you don't need to hurricane me? Oh my goodness. Uh synergy. We'll do that. Okay, let's try that. On it. Is this gonna like and all done. Nice! Ooh, we finished off with that. There we go, combat simulator thing. See? Locked one. All that from scanning an enemy. Isn't that nice? I don't think I fought one of those before. That's pretty cool though. Alright, well let's Well, I guess I should probably heal actually. <laughs> I'm just I'm using items because why not? Um this mega potion, sure. Hey Cloud. All right. I've been thinking. What's up? We're looking for a guy named Murasaki, right? Yeah. About him. It's just uh, his name sounds Utaian. I'm oh. sure plenty of your people immigrated to Midgar before the war. Some of their kids and grandkids probably work for Shinra. Oh. Oh, they're huh. fading. <laughs> they're fading. I've about that before. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, Wutai's apparently up here. Maybe he's in cahoots with them. Now that you mention it, though. I'm just going to do a little cure on Tifa, I think. There you go. All right. Let's keep going down. This is all new terrain. To get down. Oh, God. There's like three pipes. They all lead to the same place or? Oh, goodness. Um, There's no way to like forecast this. Okay. I'm going to go down the middle one. I, I just look like it leveled off to the left. And it didn't look like it was where I was supposed to go. Interesting. We might have to do multiple slides down. I'll go with that. I'll go with that if that's what needs to happen. Because uh, we, we definitely can't slide up. <laughs> we can't upslide. But we, I, I might be able to take that elevator thing back up and slide down a different one. So this was the middle that I went down. I just got to try to remember that. This is cool. I like this. This is fun. Some ore. Oh god, there's god, there's like so many. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna have to go down like every slide here. This there might be a Yuffie weapon mixed in here somewhere, so we can't slide down that one. So now we have, now we have four options. There might be multiple ways to get here. Like this might be where they all interweave. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of things here. Wow. Okay. Is this is this more here? No, no. Okay, so they all probably lead here because there's one, two, and three. So this is probably options number two. So I'm just going to start from the left. I think that's just going to be easiest to remember. So let's go here first. That way, that way I know where I'm going and what I've done when I go up here, up and down here nine more times. Okay, coming down the pipeline. Yeah, glad that worked out for us, honestly. Yuffie, Yuffie what are you doing? Why do you run over there like that? Okay, so that's a gate that can open. Is that where we're headed, though? This doesn't look like anything, so... I, oh my gosh, what did you guys just do? I guess there's boxes here from your break. <laughs> Nothing in any of them, though, but... Alright, so let's get this. There's locked. Going through. Oh, do... shit. Yeah. There has to be something we can use this to climb thing. that fence. Um... Okay, so probably the wood portion there. Because that doesn't have barbed wire on it. I would imagine. No climbing. What does that sign say? No bringing the machine over here to climb it, please. Do I have to unplug this? I really don't need it plugged in. Right. Okay, I guess I can still bring it forward more. There we go. Okay, now that's enough. There we go. And then I will let you guys... Oh, okay. Or you guys, you just climb over. Well... We don't have to worry about it again. So that's pretty neat. Oh, oh, the elevator works now. Okay. All right. Well, let me do this quickly then. I'm, I'm going to go up and down the slides. I'm going to go, wee. It's going to be like a water park. All right, everybody. So I went down every single path. Nothing that crazy. I got a couple of resources, killed like two enemies. It, 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 was, it was not really worth doing all that. Okay. I climbed up with that again. Uh, not, not really worth it, but eh, whatever. We're here. We did it. It's cool. Um, so we're going to keep progressing here. Let's see what's on the other side.
What is going on over here? This, so we're like in like a cavern thing right now. This is actually pretty sick. A pretty cool place to build a base. Are you, God, I didn't get to scan any of them because I get freaking screeching, man. Irritating. Staff only. I could think I'm staff. There might be more of them here. I guess it's not that weird for people to move to different countries. And it's not like we don't welcome foreigners into Wu Tai either. I mean, take Colonel Lockrock. He and Viceroy oh. are the whole reason we have an interim government in the first place. In fact, his whole team is made up of nothing but ex soldiers. What? Such badasses who decided to give Shinra the finger. Kinda like you. Nothing like me. Damn. Have so much in common, you'd be best buds. Just saying. It's never hmm. too late to join the cause. That's very interesting, actually. That's very interesting indeed. The, the, the fact that there's a bunch of soldiers over there. I don't know how many soldiers there were. So I don't know if, like, I am supposed to assume. Okay, so that's another place that I need. So it seems like there's almost a place I need to come back to. I gotta try to remember all these. Luckily, I have video footage <laughs> to remind me where I have to go. So I don't have to, like, remember too hard, but... Um, alright. Yeah, because I don't know how many soldiers there really were. I mean, we what saw say? quite a few in Crisis Core, but... I'm dead serious, you know. I really think you'd like it in Mutai. Could bring the whole gang, even. Yeah, let's go! Backups unit. The Yuffie Recon Patrol! Shinra uh, work on the name. Speak our name. They'll stand in awe of the fair ninja who leads her loyal minions. And tremble Why in peas? the wire peas coming in hot! That's a Final Fantasy X reference, I think. Banging down the door to buy our film rights. Your stunned silence says more than words ever could. <laughs> I knew you'd be on board. Please shut up. <laughs> no, don't shut up, you. Keep talking, please. You're funny. Yeah, so wh why RP? That's that's a Final Fantasy X thing. I know that now. I just played that in the last year. Great game. I think that's that's my second favorite Final Fantasy game. I've I've played I think. I do believe. Okay, we're already at the top. I remember this area. I think. Maybe not. Maybe not. Never mind. Nope, I don't think I do. Mm, I, mm, I, mm, uh no. Ah uh, oh Whoa Wu Tai. They're ninjas from Wu Tai. What? What's? Which means we're at war. But what about my mission? Did command call it off? What? What's? Why didn't anyone tell me? Aren't we in the middle of a ceasefire, though? Yeah, well, ceasefires can end. That's what they say. Still, doesn't mean we are. Yeah. And it makes no difference to them either way. Come on. We gotta find Murasaki. Yes. Right. Yes. <sighs> yeah, I figured something like this was gonna happen. That's why Yuffie is here. This is it. There's no turning back. From what? War or what? What are you talking about? What, what exactly do you mean by that? What's up? Okay, you ready? All right. There's no turning back. Why they do this. No one told you anything. No, nothing. I had no idea they were planning an operation. I should have been here. Should have done something for them. You've done tons mm. for us. Remember that. Whatever. Yeah, I, I don't know that that really makes her feel better, Cloud, but, uh, I appreciate the effort, I guess. I, remember, I, I do remember this area. We've we've been here. I mean, this is the reactor. We're, we're officially here. So Shinra's dead, too, here. It's not just Wutai. Hmm. I don't feel like I remember... I remember this being a big empty room before. I don't remember this thing. I remember whatever this thing is. 
But my memory isn't flawless, so... I guess that's that's where I need to go. I just want to make sure I look in here quickly. It's, it's possible that I just didn't notice this before, didn't pay much mind to it, but I don't remember that being here. But... Probably was, right? I'll just go down here and we'll see what happens. Right? I, I gotta master this weapon ability yet, too. Sorry, I didn't mean to push you. It's my bad. We're all going through shit right now. It seems like it seems like everybody gets an emotional portion of the game. Red got his. I guess Aerith hasn't really gotten hers, I wouldn't say. Uh, We're here to help! Tifa kinda did. Tifa's was kind of when she got launched off a cliff. Uh, Cloud is just kind of... He's just a sad story the whole time. Yuffie got hers. Bear got his. Okay, this one... I think this is the open room I'm, I was thinking of. It's a lot more infested than before. And I'm... Okay, that's like some Genova smoke happening. Ew. Ooh. Ew. Okay, it has like a humanoid -y face. That's a little bit suspicious if you ask me. Diabolic variant. Like this this feels like a Hojo experience to me. Like maybe maybe it came out of one of those pods. I don't know. Ice weakness? Nice. I like to see that. Okay, let's get Cloud here so I can use my ability. And Blade Burst! And Snare, I don't like that ability. Nice. Let's keep doing it. Master it. Say goodbye. No, no, the master yet. Okay, don't say goodbye. <laughs> say, don't say goodbye. Just say it in shadow. Oh, that's just a lot of poison, huh? <laughs> that's just a lot of poison, huh? Uh, blade burst on the right arm. I don't know. Can we try to break that. Oh, you teleported. What the hell? I, kinda, this, I guess this kind of reminds me of an enemy from. I think it was the DLC of the last game. Now that I think about it. Oh, I have the Comet ability. It only costs one ATB? Why does why does Comet Meteor only cost one, but freaking Araga costs two and Thundaga costs two? What the hell is that about? What is this? Also, why is there like an A symbol, like an alpha symbol at the end of Thundaga? What does that mean? Why, why is that there? I'm just... Oh god, there's like... It's like a phony. Or something. Ow! Okay, we gotta we gotta take this guy out, man. Um, I mean, this is a boss fight at the end of the day. Come on, I've used it so much. Deal with that. Tifa's dead? I got you, Tifa. I got you, Tifa. I've been so focused on that ability thing that I wasn't paying attention to her health, I guess. No. Okay, let's do a items. Do I have a Giga Mist potion? I do have one. Let's use it. We're, we're all dealing with poison stuff right now, so it seems relevant. Okay, this has to be it, right? Say goodbye. Boink. Okay, that's a good damage on the arm, though. That's a good damage on the arm. It's almost broken. There we go. Pressured. Okay, focus thrust. Okay. That was good damage, good damage. We'll, we'll take that, we'll take that. Um, right arm on you now. So there's two of them here then, huh? Oh my god, there's another one! Wait, but it has like less health or something. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, I'm brittled. Okay, cancel my unbrittled. That's fine. That's fine, I don't want it anyways. Illusionary dive. No. No. Oh. Okay, we got we got the stagger off. Okay. Okay. Whoa. I. Okay, that one died. Reconstruction. No, you don't need to do that. No. Oh. oh. Is there still another one left? No. Okay, we're good. Wow. We gotta find Murasaki. That was a weird fight, so it kept like replicating itself. I, I guess I could maybe go back to that bench we were just at. Or was that down the elevator? Oh, that was on the elevator though. I don't know if I can go back down. Oh, I could. 
Maybe I'll do that. Um, but anyways, guys, I think we're going to end this episode here. I think we made some good progress here. We're going to pro assume we get some pretty intense stuff happening in a second. But uh, so cool stuff on the way up to the top of the mountain here. I did enjoy this experience a lot. And I'm looking forward to see what happens next. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys are not already. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.